What's going on, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. Uh, please excuse any noise you guys may hear. I'm driving right now, so um, you know I like to make videos from time to time when I'm driving. I've been extremely busy today, so I, I wanted to get on here and make a video uh, about this. I posted about it earlier on Instagram, but uh, Prodigy or The Prodigy, uh, as they're also known, was like they, I I don't know the exact term for their genre of music. Uh, it was like techno, like rave type music. They're from the UK. Their lead singer Keith Flint took his own life today at 49 years old. Um, from what I heard, you know they they don't know exactly the circumstances, but word was that he just went through uh, a divorce. He was married to a Japanese model. And then he was, he had to put his home up for sale. You know, divorces can get nasty and everything. And, um, yeah, he took his life at 49 years old. Now I just wanted to share back. And if you guys, you know, follow my channel at all, you'll see the majority of my content, especially when it comes to music is hip hop related. But, um, it's like with my love for music does go way beyond hip hop. Hip hop is just, you know, my favorite, but Back in 1997, I was in sixth grade, and I'll never forget. I just wanted to share this, uh, you know, memory of this band. As sc the school year was ending, summer was coming in, you know, about almost summertime, I saw the video to Prodigy Breathe. Now, as far as worldwide, that's got to be their biggest hit ever. I mean, I know they were huge in the UK. They had multiple number one albums, but as far as, like, in the U.S., um, the Fat of the Land, which was the name of the album, I believe that was their only, you know, number one album over here. But it was a huge, huge, huge hit. And um, the video was dope, man. The song was just so catchy. It was like, I don't know, man. I, I, everyone was feeling it. Even if you weren't a fan of that type of music, like everyone liked that song. I even remember uh, ECW Wrestling. As you guys know, I'm also a wrestling fan. Uh, they used to use it as, uh, I believe, the theme song to their show. And um, the video was just crazy. There was an alligator in the video. And um, it was just it was just a dope-ass song, man, that I'll never forget, you know. Uh, in my opinion, a classic. Now, they also had, I ended up buying that album. And if you guys remember, um, it was called The Fat of the Land. And on the cover, there was a crab. And the crab was, like, on the sand. And um, it had uh, Firestarter, which was another track that had a video and everything was a hit as well. And then there was a track on there called, um, was it called Diesel Power? It had Cool Keith rapping on it. It was pretty dope. And then they had the video, like back then, you know, nowadays, a lot of, you know, people, if you're not, like anyone who's my age or older, you remember how it used to be back in the day, like you had to see music videos on MTV and um, Smack My Bitch Up was another song on that album and they put out this video which if you guys watch it now go on YouTube and check it out uh, Prodigy Smack My Bitch Up it's you know you'd be like ah this this video ain't shit you know what I mean but back then it was banned you know what I mean um, you MTV would only air it here or there like really late at night and um, it was like I want to say the the whole idea behind the um, song or the video was that it was um, that it was supposed to be the like through the eyes of a serial killer or something. And they're like, you know, partying and going out and doing drugs and everything. But I'm just saying back then it was considered to be really, really graphic. But um, there's a surprise at the end. So I don't want to give that away for you guys, but go check that video out. Get in the comments. Tell me what you guys think about that. Prodigy smack my bitch up. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. You know, it was like an album that I remember very well growing up. That that Breeze song was just, I forget who it was, man, but um, a band that or it might have even been a rapper. Someone that I'm a fan of, I remember, said that before they would go to perform on stage, they would play Prodigy Smack My Bitch Up because the song just, you want to wild out when you hear that song. You know what I mean? Like, it was a, it was a really dope song, really catchy. But um, 
I don't know, guys. Uh, go check that out. Prodigy Breathe. Prodigy Spacked My Bitch Up. Um, rest in peace to Keith Flint. And always anybody, if anyone's out there depressed or they're contemplating suicide or anything, make sure, you know, reach out. Or if you know anyone who's who's feeling down, reach out. There's help out there. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it really can help to talk to somebody, you know. And sometimes, it, you know, if it's if it's someone else who's down and you go to them and break the ice and talk to them like, hey, I see you're really feeling down, you know, it might it might really help them. Or sometimes, you know, they're like, hey, stay out of my business. But it's worth a shot when it could save a life, you know. But, um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to sh uh, share my memory of that album. So please get in the comments, um, you know, share your thoughts about the album or back then, man. I just remember all summer long that year, summer of 97, uh, Breathe was like in regular rotation on MTV, you know. Like I used to always wake up in the morning before I go outside and get up with my friends or whatever, I'd, I'd be watching, you know, MTV and, uh, B and BET. I'd be watching MTV and BET before I'd go out, but that's all I got, guys. Hit that like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Look to hear from you guys in the comments. Rest in peace, Keith Flint. Peace.